name is Zhang Wu Li. I'm a professor of Hanyang University. As a principal investigator, I'm now leading the government project to develop the all solid state batteries for the next generation. I'm working together with Dr. Sambaji Shinde, who played an essential role in inventing all solid state Jinko batteries that enable the high density energy storage with flexibility and safety. This technology outperforms all kinds of uh, resin based batteries, so it was awarded top 10 uh, nanotechnology in Korea this year. Zinke batteries are among the most promising next generation battery technologies uh, due to their many advantages characteristics. These batteries have flexible electrode and very safe aqueous electrolyte. Moreover, zinc is much abundant and less harmful to the uh, environment. However, previous zinc batteries employing liquid electrolytes are all failed because of the sluggish uh, kinetics for the oxygen reduction and evolution reactions and the uh, irreversibility of zinc. This work inspired us to develop solid state electrolyte such as the uh, functionalized biocellulose which can transfer hydroxyl ions effectively without parasitic reactions. So we have devised the ketosan by bacterial cellulogics, we call the CBCs, as an ion exchange solid state electrolyte. These materials essentially consist of biocellulose and ketosan followed by uh, cross-linking of tempo and DBO quaternary linkages. This key process significantly improved uh, batteries' anti-freezing characteristics. Water also exists and transfer uh, inside the CBCs, but their form is uh, just molecular water, not liquid water. This is a big difference from the conventional zinc air batteries adopting liquid electrolyte. So our all solid state batteries could maintain the superior battery performances and good stability even at minus 20 degrees C. As a result, we introduced a new 1 ampere scale flexible zinc pouch cells that could be commercially viable. These pouch cells allow for the driving range of 800 to 900 miles per charge, 100% charging within 50 minutes, and the 1 million mileage durability as well. One most important benefit from the zinc air batteries is the uh, uh, air purif purifying function. Since the zinc air batteries are operating in half open structures, uh, just like hydrogen fuel cells, oxygen circulation is uh, required from the air for the uh, charging and discharging process. Uh, fuel cells only have a discharge process, so the air can be purified using an air filter, uh, which we name a passive technology. However, for zinc air cells, in addition to the passive function, pure oxygen can also emit uh, into the air by decomposing zinc oxide during charging process. We call this active technology for air purification. Purified air quantity usually is 1 liter per hour in 1 ampere hour scale uh, battery. Many people now understand that fuel cell technology is precisely different from a rechargeable battery technology, but we need to know only the difference between these two te technologies is the anode. The fuel cells anode is just a hydrogen, which is not recyclable, but the zinc anode is recyclable. Since these two technologies are very similar, I believe that zinc air batteries become a mediator to synergistically cooperate between lithium ion batteries and hydrogen fuel cells. We are now simplifying the synthesis re recipes for the air cathode and solid electrolyte for production worthy scaling up, our cells could potentially be used to power drones, electrical vehicles, and aircraft as well.